In today's program, we're going to show you how to cook Thai food with my KD in Bangkok. You're going to learn some delicious recipes here today. And it's vegetarian, but you can add chicken or meat to taste if you wish. We're here this morning at my KD Cooking School in Bangkok, Thailand. And we're going to learn a lot about vegetarian cooking this morning. Yes, good, good morning. Sawadika. Sawadika. Welcome to my KD Cooking School. Uh -huh. Special today we cook vegetarian food. But how to make vegetarian uh, very tasty without meat, without chicken, without fish sauce. And special for the cooking of Thai food, you know, what kind of spicy we use, what kind of sauce we use, and what kind of vegetable we use. We want to go market also and tell you how to find ingredients. Are you ready to know the idea, the secret today? Okay, we're ready. The skalenga or the Thai ginger. Many people call Thai ginger, look like ginger, same family of ginger, but uh, different flavor. When you have three kind of dish, there, like the galanga, like the lemon glass, like the coffee lime leaf, you can cook a lot from flavor from that one. From right now, we're making chili paste. How to make the green chili paste? Mm -hmm. We chop galanga, not so big, you know, but we want to put in the mortar and pesto. And first, two tablespoons of chili. You see, today we use the green Thai curry. We cook green Thai curry. Mm -hmm. You can put about four peas. Be careful, the chili can go your eye really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you can close the hand. You know, that is the own Thai style, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's next? You can tell me, please. Okay. Cafe lime. Yes, cafe lime, just put inside. What's next? Galanga. Galanga, that's one, yeah? About four or five pieces, mm -hmm. yeah? Galanga. And then lemon glass, that one, small hand or one tablespoon, okay? Onion. Onion, okay. Oh, you want to try? You want to try? Okay. To try? Okay, strong. Okay, strong, huh? okay. okay. More strong flavor. Mm -hmm. Keep yes. pounding, yeah. Yes. Just okay, next, I want to put the tablespoon of garlic, okay? Onion and garlic. Yeah, okay. that is a more strong flavor. about teaspoon of cumin. Toast it, okay? I toast then I put in the pan, okay? Toast in the pan and then put in the blender. Then I have like that. Flavor of cumin. Bisto, you know, so you've been paste or miso? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one we use because we don't use shrimp paste. Mm -hmm. About one teaspoon I use, okay? Right there, from Japanese, yeah? Miso okay. Japanese. Wow, you see, you have curry already. Ready to use is for cooking. Then we have like the tom yam, uh, green chai chili paste, yeah? And then we go to uh, market. Are you ready to go market? Yes. Okay, I have basket. Okay, we walk. Along with the cooking lessons, you're going to learn how to shop for fresh vegetables. And along the way, we stop off at a little factory that makes wrappers for spring rolls. The first, we go to shop how to make spring roll, you know, because we want to order spring roll. How to making spring roll, you know, it's nearby here. Welcome to spring roll shop, okay? That's one how to making spring roll. Special this shop, you know, the every restaurant, hotel, or street market order from here. She make every day about 50 kilo special making from wheat and salt and water. That's it, you know, you can fry that one uh, in your country, put in the fridge, you know, very cold. And another kind of spring roll in, is from rice. Rice is like the Vietnamese, and then it's come fresh, like the noodle. Then you can use it for the spring roll also. That is for more fresh spring roll. Now. Wow, look fresh. Okay, I ordered already, then we pick up, okay? Now we go back to the one vegetable shop nearby here. You don't need a big market to find good vegetables. Okay, you see the how to, uh, what kind of vegetable we use today? You know about the uh, chili already, yeah, that is the chili, we have many kinds of chili also. That is called solento, we use a lot for tom yam soup or salad or also the glass noodle soup or sometimes we use a lot for the Salad, 
You don't like the dipping, eating, dipping salt. We eat a lot. Or basil, you know, sweet basil. Mm. Yeah, that one we eat a lot for the green curry or red curry. By Asia, we eat for stew fry a lot. Okay, this is cafe lamb leaf. You see the fresh one, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, like the pak choy. Similar, like the pak choy, yeah? like the Chinese pak choy. Broccoli, cauliflower, pak choy, or kale. You can use together. That's Thai eggplant. We eat a lot for the curry. This one is called, people call it the squash leaf. For the stew fry or curry, or sometimes they're dipping. Yeah, Pumpkin or squash. That one we use a lot for Thai cooking, also for green curry or pumpkin hummus. We use today. Um, yeah, you see, we use yes. oyster mushroom or wood ear mushroom. You can use also. So it's really a fun feature of Mikey D's cooking school that you get to take this little walk in the neighborhood and have a look at this produce market on wheels. Oh, ready? Are you ready for breakfast? We are ready. Yeah, we go cooking. I don't know what we cook today, um, but you cook for me today. As we walk back to the restaurant, I wondered, how does she find her customers? So how do people book? Do they call you or internet? Oh, the, some people come to eating here before. And Trip Advisor, Lonely Planet, YouTube. Or, yeah, more people uh, buy mouth to mouth. Not the talking to friends. And you have three restaurants in Bangkok? Yeah, right now four. You know, small one, three in Bangkok, one in Chiang Mai. I want to make the franchise, my kitty around the world. I want to have people come vegetarian and have more vegetarian restaurant.